cause of autism it is still very very controversial there are a lot of different different thought processes some uh, there are western theories which say that it's genetic problem some people say that it is because of increase in the age of the parents some people think it's because of immunization or vaccination some people think it's because of heavy metals what we uh, feel from the study that we have done in neurogen is that there is a big element of lack of proper care at birth because of lack of oxygenation to the brain is one of the factors a big factor especially in india which leads to children with autistic features speech or if they speak then they'll speak unnecessarily they uh, if you say something they will say the same thing back to you which is known as echolalia and behavioral issues they throw a lot of tantrums so that's where we find that the number is increasing and sometimes maybe it is over diagnosed too so as i said inappropriate so these children like to remain in themselves they do not like to play with other children they are in one place just doing what they want to do they don't want to mix with other people um, uh, developmental pediatrician they find that the child is not as per other children the milestones are not reached properly and then they refer to psychologist or occupational therapist and speech and language therapist because speech is a big problem that, that's why generally where the problem where things end in a conventional uh, treatment setup uh, what we have now is new techniques we have new ways of understanding what's happening in the brain and this is known as neuroimaging or brain scans special brain scans or stem cells from that womb or that 3 to 4 day embryo it is known as embryonic stem cells and where do we get them from we get them from in vitro fertilization clinics means when a couple doesn't have child and they go to a gynecologist and what you know as test tube babies have you heard of test tube babies yeah, so test tube babies are formed outside the body and these uh, embryos which are outside some of them are put in the mother's womb the remaining which remain they are multiplied outside and they are very good research tools from there we can find out how the cells develop how the body develops how the organs develop but as of now not recommended for treatment the second is the cord blood or because now when we say stem cells that was that is the first thing that comes to everybody's mind that is the cord blood when i say i am in i am a stem cell therapist people ask me oh which company do you work for are you working for life cell or baby cell or whatever no so those are, those stem cells are cord blood stem cells where just like we can store the blood cord blood which connect the cord which connects the mother and the child that cord can be uh, preserved and used later for the child but suppose we don't have these options when you and me were born we didn't have these options so what do we do what we have is something known as adult stem cells adult stem cells are there in your body my body and even now there are cells which are multiplying and will multiply till we die which are those cells continue to multiply you give when you get more thank you <laughs> so i can go ahead so yeah so blood cells are formed in our bone marrow right bone marrow is a plate those of we eat non vegetarian know that when you chew the bone you get a fluid which is where the blood is formed and the cells multiply continuously and they uh, can be used stem cell cells there are other organs such as fat so adipose tissue also has stem cells our teeth also has stem cells so these are different cells from our own body which can be used to treat our own problems so these are known as adult stem cells see very simple way are like recharging a battery now you have a vehicle which is stopped because the battery is discharged so what do you do you recharge the battery and then when you drive it becomes easier so he what are we doing with the vehicle ahead and the dam the battery is recharged and then you have power so even a small child can push the vehicle so this is how a uh, uh, stem cell works it helps recharge the battery in the brain and when we are taking stem cells from the patient's own body 
we know it is simple it is safe there are no side effects no medications are required and repair the brain how is the treatment done it is done in a very simple way we take bone marrow from the hip bone can you see that bone so we take bone marrow from the hip bone using a very very with autism so far and this is an analysis of about 100 we are still analyzing the data we find that hyperactivity reduces in most of the children attention span uh, improves that means that when i'm talking to you you understand what i'm saying you're sitting in one place and giving attention so when a teacher is teaching the child attention span uh, varies so this ch children's attention span improves eye contact improves they when you talk to them they look at you much better understanding and learning so if they are able to sit in one place then you can teach them they can learn the speech improves their behavior can be modified those who are very very violent the violence reduces